Hey there, how's it going? Oh, great to see you. I'm going to be talking today about the ATM Mini and the Rodecaster Pro and how these two things work together. But before I get into that, I just wanted to quickly remind you to leave any questions or comments that you've got in the comment section below. I do read them all and I do get back to as many of them as I can. Now we all know that the ATEM Mini is a fantastic device and one of the things it lets you do seamlessly is have multiple camera inputs and being able to switch between them. One of the downsides though is it's only got two microphone inputs. Now if you're doing something say a podcast or a panel kind of video sort of discussion thing where you've got a few people along and you're switching between cameras pointing at them you really are relying on the camera microphones and you've got the ability for audio to follow video or if you're using one of the ISO ATMs then you can record the isolated channels and mix them afterwards however if you decided you wanted to use something like the pod mic or the Procaster available from Rode then you're really restricted to the two devices you can plug into the 2.5 mil port on the back of the ATEMs and that can be quite restricting. And this is where the Rodecaster Pro really comes into its own because you can take four professional microphones into this and then feed the monitored output from that into your ATEM Mini to record your mixed show. So basically you can use it to extend the ATEM Mini to allow professional microphones to be used and to have all the professional mixing from those microphones included in your ATEM mix. But you do need to know how to connect your ATEM Mini and your Rodecaster together to get the best sound out of it and I'm going to show you how to do that now. On the back of the ATEM you've got these two mic inputs and we're going to be using one of these to take the two monitoring feeds that you can see here out of the Rodecaster. The Rodecaster Pro has these two 6.5mm sockets in the back of it and here you can see the ATM has this 2.5mm TRS socket. And so you need this cable here which has two plugs on one end and a single small plug on the other end and you can use this to take the monitor out channels from the Rodecaster Pro to the ATM Mini. This will work with any of the ATM Minis by the way. So connecting these two devices together was easy enough, but now we need to do two more things to make sure that we're getting this clean signal. The first is to go into the settings in the ATEM control software and set the microphone jack that you use to be line in. To do that, you need to come to this little gear icon in the bottom corner of the ATEM screen. You click on that and that launches the settings. You now go to the audio settings, then you click general, and identify which of these two inputs you have the Rodecaster Pro coming into and select line level so that the audio signal is coming in and you're telling it it's going to be a line level signal rather than a microphone level signal. This is all about making sure that the type of signal that you've got coming into the ATEM is the right one that you're going to be sending out from the Rodecaster Pro. On the Rodecaster Pro now you want to go to the monitoring volume and set that up onto about three quarters to full strength. And this will make sure that the Rodecaster Pro is putting out a good quality signal with no line hum or anything underneath it. So now you should be getting a really high quality clean signal with no background noise coming from your Rodecaster Pro into your ATM Mini. You can also record all the channels on the Rodecaster Pro as well and you'll have that mixed channel coming through to the ATM. You don't forget you can also record off the microphones from the cameras as well so that's all going to be there for you especially if you've got an ISO version. ATM. And to do that in the ATM software control you just click output and then scroll down to the screen recording section and click ISO to record all of the inputs. This will make sure that you are recording each camera and sound source separately on the ATEM. I hope this has been really useful to you and it's answered some questions. If it has and you want to see more videos like this then click down here to subscribe and check out this video and this video because YouTube picked them out for you and they're going to be useful. Hopefully it's videos I made and also leave any comments or questions you've got down in the comment section below and I'll see you later on.